Hey guys, Dave with Build Alpha back with another video in the Back to Basics Technical Analysis Series. So what is MACD? MACD is the Moving Average Convergence Divergence Indicator and is a momentum oscillator primarily used to trade trends. Although it is an oscillator, it is not typically used to identify overbought and oversold conditions like RSI or stochastics. Um, and it does appear on the chart as two lines which oscillate without boundaries. The crossover of those two lines or two moving averages can give trading signals similar to a two moving average system. Oftentimes the two, the difference between the two moving averages, the convergence divergence that we're actually tracking with MACD is represented as a histogram or a single line. And when that single line or histogram crosses above zero, it is seen as a bullish or a bullish indicator. And when it is bearish uh, or when it crosses below zero, it is considered bearish. So of course with build alpha, we have the, the ability to test that, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna use the same eight popular ETFs over the same 14, 15 year uh, date range. And all I'm gonna do is type in MACD. I got some MACD signals here. So when it crosses above zero, we're gonna use that as our entry. And when it crosses below zero, we're gonna use that as our exit. And I just go ahead and run this. And I can see the results here. Okay, so pretty good. Obviously some things, some hiccups. So let's investigate a bit further. We can see how it did on each of the ETFs. Um, so quite well on SPY and QQQ, the NASDAQ. You know, not so great on gold. Um, so again, all of the more reason that you, why you need to be testing everything you hear, everything you learn on each asset, each market, um, because they all behave differently. They have, all have their own personalities. So if I right click and want to improve this moving average system on GLD, I can rerun the strategy with adjustments. I can go over to signals and let's type in volume and see if adding a volume filter can improve this. So volume is greater than its average vol. So I'll click on that, make it an entry, require it, and we'll use the 10 period average. So if today's volume is greater than the rolling 10, 10 period average volume, uh, then we're gonna add that signal to our MACD system. Go ahead and hit simulate and then we can see, okay, volume, MACD, improved the results quite a bit on our gold strategy. So again, just a simple example talking about what is MACD, how you could take a base simple system and add to it uh, all with a couple clicks. So again, learn the basics, learn to test them, and then add your own spin or use software to leverage the ability to improve the basics as that's what it takes to compete in today's market. Anyways, hope that helps. See you guys in the next TA video.